All right, no spec monkey here to go with a little extra tactical details. So we'll start off here. I had interest in how far the range of the wireless controller would go. So right now the wireless controller uh, range is about 15 feet. So you can, once this is mounted on a person, you can control this anywhere mounted on your person. Or if you have your system mounted on a vehicle or any other device, you can be around 15 circumference away from it and work the, the wireless remote. Understood. But uh, we're also excited. It's got some normal batteries, some good old double A's. On good the old double A's, yep. So this thing can be powered anywhere in the world, no matter where you're at. So here at the SHOT Show, we've got four double A's in this waterproof hatch. We've got a clear view here. Powering right there. And that is the majority of the size and weight, which is fine. You're looking at about the size of a standard TV remote. Uh, this can be powered for about six hours while you're playing with the controls and while the LCD screen is on. Business is going on? Right. Yes, yes. So you also have a little, little water plug buddy? Water plug buddy. Most of the time I don't use it, but if I'm near any type of water, I will throw this on. This is going to keep all my connections nice and dry and my USB or my USB connection and my SD card as well. It'll just secure tight and then it'll leave a gap around this edge. You can just put a thumbnail in there and pop it right off. So there's a, a seal tight around there and there's also a piece of foam. So if vibration does strike, it's going to keep that SD card in there so it won't have a tendency to pop out. Nice, nice. And I was also seeing on uh, one of your videos, uh, they had a SWAT stack going. It was kind of high vis on the back. Yes. Know, the LCD was all, but uh, I guess there's also some functions where it'll go to sleep mode? Correct, correct. So if the LCD brightness is too much for whatever situation you're in, there's a function here where you can have a sleep timeout. You can either set it for 15 seconds or up to 30 minutes. Once that's set, It'll go to sleep after, say, if we set it for 15 seconds, it goes to sleep. If you need to power it on and view something on the screen or play back a clip, all you have to do is press a soft key or any one of these keys on the device. It won't activate any function on here. The only thing it will activate is the power on the LCD. Well, so thanks for going over some extra stuff. Yeah, see. thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for watching. Yep. Along with the kit, which is the managing software. You can do a bit of editing, you can do storage, and the last feature which we're trying to push, which is distribution, which is the share feature, which you can share all your clips via this software, via the internet. So once you have your system plugged into this, all your clips in your POV1 are gonna show up right here. Those are all your clips in your SD card. You can drag those clips into your POV1 library. These are gonna be all your clips saved into your manager. Once they're saved into your manager, you can play them back in the screen right here, once you play them back, you can do some brief editing. The brief editing entails some, some dragging to specific highlighted points. Once you have the points secured, you can hit the extract button. Once you hit the extract button, it's gonna drag the clip down into here. Essentially, you're making a highlight palette. This is what we call our storyboard. Once we have this, we would preview it. If we wanna save that feature, then we would hit the save button, type in whatever we need, once we have the final clip saved, we would hit the share button. The share button will bring up a page where we can type in any email address and have it sent to anywhere in the world. So we can shoot, tag, edit, and share with our system all within the click of our button. Thanks for joining us at SHOT Show, VIO.